If you're looking for the best smart speaker, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Bose Home Speaker 300. We weren't sure what to expect upon opening the Bose Home 300 for testing, but we were pleasantly surprised on almost every level. While the sound quality can't quite compete with the much larger Echo Studio, the Bose Home 300 allows users to choose between Alexa or Google Assistant. It has handy preset buttons on the top of the speaker, and it can stream audio over Bluetooth, AirPlay, Wi-Fi, or via an old-school auxiliary cable. Through its app and smart assistants, the Bose Home 300 can play music from a large number of streaming services, such as Spotify, TuneIn, Amazon Music, Tidal, Pandora, and even Apple Music via AirPlay or Bluetooth. The compatible music and podcast sources will vary a bit depending on which smart assistant you choose, though not any larger. The speaker is much louder than most of the other smart speakers we included in this roundup. While the audio quality isn't what we'd call exceptional, it is definitely sufficient for the way most of us use our smart speakers. Moving on to the next at number two with Bose Portable Smart Speaker. The Bose Portable Smart Speaker is a whole lot like the Bose Home 300. The shape is different, but it's wrapped in a similar aesthetic, uses the same app, and can work with either Alexa or Google Assistant. This wireless speaker pumps out a lot of sound for its size, and it manages to balance portability and durability surprisingly well. The swivel handle on top makes it very easy to carry, and with its water-resistant design, the speaker is at home outdoors or poolside. The Bose Portable Smart Speaker's battery lasts for several hours of high-volume music, and if you have another Bose speaker at home, it is capable of being grouped for multi-room music. The optional charging cradle also makes it super easy to grab on the way out the door. The portable smart speaker has a sturdy, thoughtful design, and it's a pleasure to use in any situation. The number three position is held by Sonos Move. The Sonos Move is the first offering from the brand that supports Bluetooth streaming. This is a big deal because it opens up a world of streaming possibilities that aren't supported by Sonos app. The Move is impressive sound, a very handy charging base, good battery life, and of course it fits into the much beloved Sonos ecosystem to interface with speakers like the Sonos One, the IKEA branded Symphonisk, and even the Sonos Arc Dolby Atmos soundbar. The one real gripe we have about the speaker compared to the Bose Portable Home is that the Move doesn't feel particularly rugged. It's heavy! so it feels like one good drop on a hard surface would do some serious damage. It has a cutout on the back that allows you to get a solid grip on the speaker if you're carrying it around, but it's not as secure in the hand as the Bose Portable Home's top handle. In addition, the price is considerably higher than the others we tested, and while Sonos speakers are quite popular, we feel the Sonos ecosystem can be a little finicky if you don't have it set up just right. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this speaker, and Sonos fans are surely rejoicing over the Bluetooth feature. Next at number 4 we have Amazon Echo, 4th Gen, a larger version of the Dot. The new Echo looks nothing like previous generations of Echo speakers, taking on an even more modern and minimal aesthetic as a fabric-covered orb. The status light ring is now around the base of said orb, which is a little more difficult to see from across the room but it also has the smart home hub capabilities of the previous Echo Plus, and it comes loaded with a new processor that speeds up Alexa's response time. The sound on the 4th Gen Echo is certainly respectable, though it can't compete with the bass produced by larger speakers like our favorite, the Bose Home 300, but committed Alexa users won't be disappointed in this new Echo, using it solo, as a stereo pair, or for multi-room music. The number five position is held by Sonos One Gen 2. The Sonos won long reign king of the third-party smart speakers, but it's no surprise that competitors didn't allow it to corner the market for long. The top contenders in this, the one does produce slightly crisper sound than all of those we tested except the Echo Studio. But the difference in sound is not pronounced enough to matter for most of us, and you'd probably only notice if you had the speakers set up side by side, as we did. That being said, the only thing that kept the Sonos one from being our top pick was the lack of Bluetooth compatibility. 
which is especially convenient when you have other people over who want to share their music. In addition, either you love the Sonos app, or you find it unintuitive. Our smart home editor is in the latter group. The number six position is dominated by Amazon Echo Dot, fourth gen. There are three versions of the Dot. The Dot, the Dot with Clock, and the Dot Kids Edition. The Dot with Clock has a numerical display on the front that shows the time or status of timers you set. While the Kids Edition is covered in fun animal designs and comes with a free year of Amazon Kids Plus programming and a two-year guarantee, because kids aren't easy on tech. Dots have always had a sleek aesthetic, but the new orb-like design is as minimal as it gets. The dot looks like a small mesh ball, and with three color options, it will blend nicely with most decor. Playing bass heavy tunes makes for a somewhat disappointing experience. Acoustic tracks sound pretty respectable. You just can't expect mind-blowing sound from a speaker barely larger than a baseball. But the dot allows for a surprisingly decent listening experience, especially when linked with another dot as a stereo pair. And while larger, more expensive speakers like the 4th Gen Echo or the Bose Home 300 will deliver far superior sound quality. The dot is certainly sufficient for smart home control, Alexa interactions, and background tunes at dinner. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Amazon Echo Studio. If you're looking for the best sound quality in a mid-range smart speaker, and you don't mind being stuck with Alexa, the Echo Studio is absolutely the best pick. This speaker is considerably larger than all the others we tested, but the additional size allows for deeper bass, better clarity, and immersive sound. The studio is also unique in this space as it is designed to deliver 3D sound, thanks to its Dolby Atmos compatibility, including an upward firing driver that bounces sound off your ceiling to better immerse you. Usually, we think of surround sound in reference to movies, but there is an entire genre of music that takes advantage of technology like that in the Echo Studio to deliver sound that seems to come from everywhere, even above you. Though at the present it's limited to a small list of artists and streaming services, such as Amazon Music Unlimited. Regardless of whether you use this speaker to play 3D music, the sound it delivers will be satisfying. The number eight position is held by Marshall Oxbridge Voice. While the Marshall brand is associated with guitar amps and bass cabinets, its recent offering to the smart speaker market shows that it's serious about competing with established smart speaker brands like Sonos. The Uxbridge Voice can be purchased with either Alexa or Google Assistant pre-installed, and the sound quality is all right. It's the aesthetic of this speaker that really sets it apart from the crowd. Like the rest of the Marshall speaker lineup, it's designed to look like a vintage amp, and even the controls on top for volume, treble, and bass look a bit like guitar frets. We love the look of this smart speaker, but it's not for everybody. And if sound quality is at the top of your smart speaker wish list, you might be slightly disappointed with this one. Marshall does offer the Action Roman 2 Voice and Stay More Roman 2 Voice, the latter of which is an absolute belter. Both come with voice assistance and considerably more power, though they are a lot larger than your average smart speaker. Next at number nine, we have Echo Flex Plug-in Mini Smart Speaker. We knew there was no way the Echo Flex would win this roundup, but it is such a unique offering that we felt it was worth including. The Echo Flex is slightly larger than a deck of playing cards, and it plugs directly into an outlet like a nightlight. It takes up zero space on the counter, and you can choose to plug an optional motion sensor or smart nightlight into the speaker. The add-on snap into the top and can be controlled through the Alexa app. If you're short on space but you want Alexa in a room, the Flex is an excellent solution, as you would expect for its size. The sound quality is bad, but it's perfect for controlling your smart home, checking the weather, listening to the news, etc. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Amazon Echo Dot, third gen, the Dot. Third gen may be an older model Echo speaker, but it still gives you access to all the standard Alexa features at a fraction of the price of its larger siblings. However, with the price break, you do have to sacrifice sound quality. The small speaker delivers noticeably low quality audio playback, though this generation presents a major improvement in that area over its predecessors. There is, however, a 3.5M input on the back and Bluetooth connectivity, so you can easily connect it to any existing speaker for a boost in audio quality. The speaker is a good pick for college students, people on a budget, people who aren't 100% sure Alexa is right for them, and Echo enthusiasts who want to fill their home for less. That's all for today. We upload tech product review videos every single day. So, 
Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.